everybody, how are we all doing? It is the Fredders93 here and welcome back to another episode of the Newcastle United career mode here on FIFA 22. Now before we get started in this first game against Spurs, I did a little bit of a scouting being off camera and looked, had a quick little glance at the free agents, Paul. And I just came across Axel Witzel and Luis Suarez and being the spontaneous one I am, I put in offers for both. Uh, well, we're dedicating offers for both, uh, whether those will come off will be a completely different matter within itself. We're on a semi decentist run of form, sort of like outside of the league, but in the league, could always be better. So we're going to start almost with our main starting 11, but what we're just going to do is we're going to start Fraser in place of Archibald, and we're going to go for pace rather than physical strength. I'm having Wilson up front instead of Mitrovic. I guess a team that looks like it's got Richardson, uh, Bubakar Kamara there as well. But it has got Eric Dyer, Davidson, Sanchez in central defence. So, fingers crossed we can do something from that. Anyway, let's just jump straight into the game. Chance for a little break from the Spurs corner. Wilson sees Fraser in the acres of space. He's around Kamara. The square to Lingard. And that's us 1 0 in front, straight away almost from a Spurs corner. We didn't go our usual tactic, which is going down the wings where we've got the face. We played it more around the inside. And yeah. It's a tactic that works, squares it from Fraser into the part of the link guard. Hugo Lloris could only stand there and watch as the ball goes past him into the back of it. Good start. Very, very good start. We do some, we've got some really nice passes. Which is what I like seeing. But Sam Maximan has just made it 2 0 with yet another assist from Ryan Fraser. Uh, with a part of the body that he's not really known for using, which is his head. But that's it. Celebrate in front of those fans. Rub things in. We've come to you and we're 2 0 up. What are you going to do about it? But yeah, what a cross in there from Ryan Fraser. But yeah, Sam Maximan. Bosh. Again, not known for his heading, but. We'll take that finish nevertheless. Maybe Hugh Gilloway's going down there, but who cares, we're 2 0. I'm loving this, and we've made it three. What a performance so far against, against this Spurs side. I was expecting a lot more of a challenge, but obviously, we're just proving too good for them. We're too good for them. Was it just a case of how much longer could we have kept Spurs silent? But with that year for sort of like passage in passing, they finally managed to unlock the defence, and it is Richarlison that um, unlocks our defence. Nice little back heel pass there from Harry Kane just to provide right, right the assist. But let's just hope we can keep that as just a mere consolation. I honestly don't get how this gets conceded as a penalty almost every single time. It's just a simple... Yeah. I could avoid the booking there, but we're changing things up and going... a bit more defensive, playing five at the back as we brought that burn on. But what a stop there from Keppel Reza Balaga. It's now gone with a 5-4-1 formation, so it does mean Chris Wood's going to be isolated up top. But of course, Duncan Archibald's on. But could we be able to counterattack so sort of very quickly on here? And Chris Wood, Chris Wood almost made an immediate impact. 
Chris Wood, I will admit, is a player who I haven't really used that much since bringing him in, like, in this game from Monaco. But obviously, he came in IOL from uh, uh, Burnley. Almost going on the end of that corner. Wow. Well. Burn, find Wood. He just so happened to be offside. I think the Spurs player just got in the way of his own teammate's shot. I'd be pretty upsetting for them if it was, but Chris Wood has been fed in by Bruno. Oh, I took a bit too far. But. Nope, nothing's going to happen to that. What? Where's that penalty come from in this one? Oh, damn, Burns can see it. Where's the penalty come from in this? Oof. Substitution for Tottenham Hotspur. That was done as a clearance. Number five, Pierre Emile Hobier. I don't know why I thought he would go the same way again, but Harry Kane actually puts away this penalty. It's definitely a lot closer game this season than when it was uh, at the stadium last, last season. I'm fairly sure I uh, ended up winning like 6 7 1, something like that. I honestly can't remember, but they've brought Almiron on for the last few moments. It's hard to put smacks out straight into Hugo Lewis. And that's not a free kick, apparently. Just gotta keep our concentration. And we've actually won this. We'll keep making them force the pass just a little further backwards. Time challenge there by Burn gets away, and we've just about got the three points. Spurs made it really hard for us in the second half. As you can see, the fans not happy there, they couldn't quite get the uh, equalizing goal there. But we pull off the win, and I believe it's either Ross County or the Danish team in the conference league that we've got next. Okay, so it will be Ross County up next in the conference league, not Aarhus. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I'm entirely sure. Still waiting on something back. From... Luis Suarez has accepted his contract. But the thing is, have we got the means to pull this off? Yeah, we don't have the financial means to pull this off, apparently. So that probably means that the uh, Axel Witzel deal is probably not going to go through either. So we'll have to... Uh, Accept it, but again, don't have the financial means to go forward. So, what we'll have to do is possibly try and sell one or two players in January to even think about making up the space in the um, range bracket for them. Right, so, what I'm going to do for this team is I'm going to bring the cup side out. So, we're mainly going to bring our cup side out for this game against Ross Count. County, and we're going to quick sim this because I should feel comfortable. We should beat this team from Scotland, but knowing my luck, I've probably just cursed ourselves. 1 0 win. Mitrovic within the first two minutes. Uh, Chris Wood with a goal disallowed as well. But that is two wins from two, I believe, in the Conference League group. So, really good start for us in that competition. And uh, next up in the league is Arsenal. Okay, so we're bringing in David Brooks for this game here against Arsenal. Uh, what a final game, home game of the season this was IRL, by the way. Let's hope uh, we can have the same similar sort of luck here uh, with this lot. But let's jump straight into it. What we're going to have done with picking Arsenal's other kit there here, so the more the yellow one. Which is what they played in IOL. We face them and 
Bruno has just given us the very, very early lead here in the sunshine in uh, St. James's Park. What a very, very quick start. We probably needed to have been on the front foot earlier on just to uh, help ease any early pressure that Arsenal may pull on, but straight away, I did not think we would be this one and up straight away. Was that Burnt Leno in goal? Yeah, that's Burnt Leno in goal. Maybe should have done better with that as it was coming straight at him. But we'll take that chance. We'll take, very much take that. Burnley doing up the, that high up the table. <laughs> oh, here's me trying to talk about uh, what's this happened now passing the play and I just got distracted by Burnley being fourth. Only if he's a career. Arsenal weren't behind for long, only about 10 minutes, something like that. And it's Iago Aspas, the one with the captain's armband, who's fired them back level. Pretty good passage play there, and I think this is where the fun that we could have, where the kits are not too dissimilar. And that was fairly in the ball zone, who's... We've got around the back of the defence, I don't know why I tried to chip that over burn though. And why I thought that was going to work. A real proper chance, waste just wasted right like there without giving me a single ounce of thought. Oof. What a save there from Kepa! What a save there from Kepa! It needed to be made as the uh, even though the angle was coming in a bit closer. Now, say Wilson, he's going to do a lot of this on his own. Taking it too far in the ah, Almost there from Willock. Really did well to keep up the pressure on him. And good on Burnt Leno in the end. Uh, having to pull off that vital save. Oh, God, my scramble. Is a side net in the end there from Brooks. What well, a chance that would have been just before half time to have restored the lead. But it's been a really, really good first half, so let's just hope for a little bit more of the same in the second half. Well, some big gaps have formed in the defence, and Martin Erdegar has made us pay. Same problem seem to be happening as I just allow. The uh, defence just be split open, if you will, and that's not really good for any of us at all. Well, in a game, in a game against Tottenham, my defence was pretty good, and my passing was good as well. In this game. Both have just been absolutely woeful. I've only got myself to blame for this. You definitely come back to that for the bang here. Almost somewhat. Right, that is a step back in the right direction. That is a step back. That is a consolation. Nice little... Uh, Bit of pressure on the defence, which is from Archibald, from Lingard, Mitro, shot block, lucky to get the deflection. 
back on there is like a deflection past the Samax man if you will to just fire it past Bert Leno and with 15 minutes ago there is still time there is still hope this is last chance saloon almost and he just couldn't pull it off Things started off so well in this game, but it does unfortunately end in defeat here against Arsenal. But you know what? Onwards and upwards. Admittedly, the game next is Burnley, but still, ooh, we have seen a flying high up the table, but still, bring it on. It looks like Schalke have come in with a loan to buy offer for Ricky J. Jones, who, we're going to be honest, is a player who. We've not really seen that much of. So I don't think we will again at some point really to be honest, with him just seemingly going further and further down the pecking order. Here at Newcastle, if you will. And so we are sure Oh look, there's some other players some scout post some other players we've been looking at. So Nope. 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 And even David Davide Santon was one I was looking at to potentially bring back to Newcastle, perhaps, as like a little extra backup. And then see if we'd be just short on his wages as well. We'll keep him in the uh, shortlist for now. But let's speed things on up to this Burner game. But Jay Jones has actually rejected the loan move to Schalke. Kind of surprised at that. I'm really surprised at that. Right, so we've got this game here against High Fly Burnley. And then we're going to go back to full strength, which does, of course, mean Fraser in for Brooks. Which is a real shame, actually. It is a real shame. Actually, you know what? I'm going to, I was holding off on this, but we're actually going to do this now. We're going to put Brooks on the transfer list and deliberate between Hayden and Lingard. I honestly don't know. But what we're going to do is we're going to visual sim this and then, of course, jump in if we need to. With Burnley having the most Burnley not team up out there. But yeah, We'll see if anything happens. Not the greatest of starts. The four brought in the reason Bilal would be better than this. There's an upgrade on Dubravka, but it appears not. And that's dribbled in over the line. Yes, Joe Willock. It's 1-1. One, one. We'll take this. To be fair, we've forgotten that we we're up against actually a fairly decent... Goalkeeper with Nick Pope and it's just off the bow compliment him. Gallon Borsa just heads past him to make it 2 1. Good. I was about to say Woods just fed in Sam Maximum, but he's offside. And then we'll bring this around for the look. And just as I do that, Josh Brownhill. Equalises for Burnley, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump in. Because I want us to win this game. Because we had actually been playing fairly decently up to, up to this point. And Lingard almost did perfectly for me straight away. So Maxman should be beating Ashley Westwood. I'd say he's beating Matthew Lawson, but he's not even close. Archibald! Well stopped there by Nick Pope. Our well, chances are still alive. And be quick for this. There's into Lingard. He's done it! <laughs> 
in the very, very last seconds, Jesse Lingard brings out his old tradition as well. And may he have just done enough to have kept himself not being put on the transfer list. We'll just have to wait and see, but nicely fired. Nick Pope didn't really have too much of a chance there with that. And that's his second goal of the episode as well from Jesse Lingard. Hopefully we're starting to see an upturn in form for him. But we've just about snuck the win away. And I believe it's onto that Danish side in the Conference League next. It's either that or a Carabao Cup game against Hull. Everton want long staff on a short, just a short term loan, which will have an accept, try and get him some game time, sort of like a, for more than just the cup games, which is all we seem to be get, being able to give him at the minute. And Chelsea have been in touch, apparently unhappy with George McEachern's lack of appearances. That will change in a minute in this game. Against um, the Danish team. Yeah, just forgive me for calling them the Danish team. It's just a, it's a name that I'm not even going to at even attempt to try to pronounce. Longstaff can play Cam, so we will play it at Cam for this. And we'll keep Kepa in goal for this game. This is a going to be a tough game because they're playing five of the back, so I feel comfortable sort of like quick simming this one. Still got a relatively decent team out there, so hopefully it's not too much of an embarrassing defeat. Hope it's not too much of an embarrassing defeat. It's a 3 0 win. Let's see, uh, Eitnuri, Fraser, and Bruno with the goals. Wilson with a disallowed goal. And I believe that's three wins out of three in the Conference League. So, yeah, definitely feel much more comfortable simulating those games, if you will. And we currently sit in 11th in the Premier League with a matching win-to-loss ratio from our first eight games. But I'm happy with that. That it's all about process and just taking our time with the process and trusting in it as well. But that is going to do it for this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Really do hope you've enjoyed it. Like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.